What is up YouTube, it's Jermaine Cubes here, also known as the King of Five, back at it again with another video on the map five. Gosh, I just really, <laughs> I really hate how this map is named five, it's just so weird, but it's awesome. Anyway guys, so I've been asked quite a few times on how to play the early rounds of five with no mule kick. It's been a long going request from some of you guys, so I figured I'd finally make a video since I have now mastered the camp in the electric traps after setting windows. Most people call this UMESCO's camp, but like, you know, because he was probably the first to really um, utilize this in a world record run. But anyway, so for those of you who are still struggling in this video, we'll explain how to play the rounds out fast and safely. I would say that with a couple of months of practice, you should be able to consistently make it out of the camping phase, which usually is about the late 40s or pretty much round 50, as at this point you can just run the high round strut. As for the kind of 50 time you should be getting, depending on your skill level, you should be able to get a sub 120 to 50, as long as your setup is somewhat decent. Before we start, I feel like not a lot of you know how to remove Mule Kick from the map, so if you're playing on Steam, all you have to do is go in offline mode, and this will remove Mule Kick from the map. However, there is an issue that happens when doing this, if you need to quit out of the game, quit out of like the map to reload it, It'll give you an, an, a connection error, and you can fix this by restarting the game, but an easier way to fix this is just to create a map find in the config file, so that you can instantly load up a map with a single key. Also, I recommend to watch my original setup video, as some of the things mentioned in there I'm not going to mention again here, as it's pretty much the same way. This video is mostly focused on how to camp the early rounds, not necessarily how to set windows. So there is two ways you can go about playing a setup with no mule. One is to try and force an early dock so that you can effectively get an extra dock round in the setup. Now this isn't necessarily going to make you play faster, but it can be good for getting an extra fire sale to force for a first box a little bit more easier. To force an early dock, you do this by leaving the first room on round three and going down to the elevator on round five, then kill the last zombie in the elevator so that you can so you have enough time to run to turn the power switch on before the round changes and this will give you a dock potentially on round six seven or eight i don't recommend you do this if you're not going for world record but it's something you can consider besides that the setup is very similar you can get your perks before or after the first dock it doesn't really matter you don't need to you know change make sure your weapons are in the right slot because of mule kick you don't have that so yeah, I'm not going to be showing how to set windows here as I did in my last setup vid. I'm just going to go straight into the camp here. One thing I will note that is different with this show is that you always only ride the elevator during the round transitions as you don't lose much time. For the early rounds, like 20 to 25, you can just use one trap per round and then kill any remaining zombies with your ray gun. Once you get to about the late 20s, you start using two traps per round. So like on 27, you will start needing like one and a half traps to kill. So one full trap circle and then half of the other one, which equates to about 60 seconds of the round. So the round should be taking about a, just over a minute at this point. A good thing to do is activate the trap earlier when the round starts so that it doesn't mess up the timings for the next round. A good thing about this strategy is control the drop cycle a bit by using your bow to run the zombies to the trap. Best way to do this on the QR side is to get a little horde together and then shoot the bow into this corner right here. The reason you want to shoot the bow here is because the zombies coming from the MPL window and near the clocks towards the back corner near the um, MPL window and stuff like that. They will run to the front of the room instead of running down the back. This will just give you an extra few, few kills. And I would say like 95% of the time it, it, it works. On the MPL trap you can do a similar sort of thing. Just make sure to bow as the zombies are coming out of that window so that you maximize the kills. Go on over to the other trap. You kind of just got to run and dodge all the zombies. I ain't got to lie. <laughs> yeah. There's no real specific technique here. It's just get over to the other trap without dying. And then, you know, pull it as late as you can. Don't, you know try and get the full horde unless it's like in the 40s you don't need to get the full horde just pull it and then just kill any zombies that are still spawning you should be able to get through the dock intervals without the need of a max ammo up until about the late 30s i would say about round 35 
you'll have roughly a few zombies to one horde left at the end of the trap, second trap pool. What's best to do here is just to kill that horde with your ray or the claymores if you have if you have no ray ammo. Done in the late 30s, around 37, there will be most likely more than a horde left after the second trap pool, depending on how like late you pulled the trap pool and whatnot. But at this point, you can start to use three traps per pool, three trap pools per round. If you need a force for drops, you can make a claymore bomb in the corner here, which is what I recommend start doing by around 40. At round 40, you you only need four clays to kill. A way you can do this is at the start of the round, you can gather up the horde and run them through it or at the exit of the MPL. Or if you're exiting the MPL trap, you can throw a monkey bomb to get the horde together and then run them into the clays. Once you kill the horde, pick up or use any drops that you get and then turn the trap on and continue through the round. From round 40 orange, you'll need pretty much three trap cycles to get through the round. You should only need to shoot at most two bow shots per trap pool. One to probably one bow shot to sort of kill the little horde that you gathered up, and then one to sort of like get out of there and go over to the other trap. Starting at round 45 plus, you will need four trap pools, and you basically want to just shoot the bow and not much rave sides when you need to force through your drop cycle as the zombies are just sort of getting too strong now and raining them isn't necessarily efficient. If you know you got a max coming up, try and go one round of just camping the traps and using the bow. Then the next round, force for the max. In the late 40s, you should only need one max ammo to get through the next stock round. If you are still camping both traps, that is. At about 48 is when you could just start running 3.0 on the APL trap, if you need to stretch the bow ammo out till the next stock round. And once you get to 50, you pretty much only camp the QR trap as it's probably not worth it to camp the MPL trap. And it's more safer. If you have claymores remaining, make sure to use them up if you know your drop cycle or got a guaranteed max, then use them when you need the max. That's pretty much everything there is to know about the strat. There might be a few little things that I missed, but if you're not sure on anything, just watch some of my games at 50 and hopefully you can pick up something that you can utilize in your runs. Besides that guys, this will bring us to the end of this video and hopefully I see more 5 players streaming in the future as so I really wish more people played this map, like honestly, we need more 230 plus games, like there isn't any technically speaking, so it'd be pretty cool to see some, you know, 230 plus by some unknown players or even some known players, you know, because it isn't really that hard to get 230 on this map. Like, yeah, maybe a few years ago it was, because like we didn't really know much struts, but yeah. Now it's definitely easier. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll answer them as soon as possible. This is the King of Five, I'll see you all in the next video.